Hi, it's, I am Hunter Alconis with Men's Health Network, and I'm here with Dr. Bonam, who just gave, helped us out give a congressional briefing on men's life expectancy and causes of death in the United States. Uh, doctor, um, you mentioned in your presentation about how, as um, we've seen women's life expectancy increase, men haven't ever really caught up with those increases in life expectancy for women. They've always trailed behind with a lower life expectancy. Um, why is that? I think that there's been a lot more attention to pay to women's health. I can even remember in the 1960s going to college and there would be signs on the, in the subway saying uh, women get your pap smear and things, and things of that nature. You look at things like the Susan G. Coleman breast cancer march and, th and, and the like. There's a lot of attention to women's health. I don't think that there's been nearly as much to men's and I think that one of the issues for men, one, there are several issues, one of them is the fact that um, when children are below a certain age, they're seen by the pediatrician. When women become, when females become old enough to be considered women, they get sent to the OBGYN, the obstetrician gynecologist, for continued care, but no such bridge exists for, for young men. So men are relatively detached from the healthcare system. And um, in the 18 to 29 year age group, that's the population group in the United States that is for men that is most detached from the healthcare system. When men get older, they start seeing doctors more often, but problems are started earlier in life, like perhaps hypertension or prehypertension or diabetes or prediabetes or high cholesterol. They, are, they have already taken a certain toll, so the prognosis is not as good and the outcomes are not as easy to control. So getting young men engaged in healthcare would certainly help with that. Another thing was that we have to consider our, our upbringing. You know, very frankly, males are told to be stoic. Men are told not to cry. A boy skins his knee when he's eight years old. They say brave boys don't cry. He gets hurt playing t uh, football in high school. They say take one for the team. When he's 50 and having chest pain, he might say it's just indigestion because he's been taught to let things slide. So men don't, are not taught the same responsiveness to pain. Yeah. Super important, um, those trends and culturally the shifts that we have to make in order to improve men's health. Thank you so much for helping us out today in addressing these here on the Hill. Um, thank you so much.